Hello, Uncle Deke here. I want to show you the ultimate underwater camera. I have a couple of years ago when we were down here I carried a camera that weighed 26 pounds. It was like pushing a bus through the water. And it didn't take as good a picture as this rig does. So I want to show you what I've determined over years to be the best amateur underwater camera setup I could find. Okay? Not cheap, but lightweight and very dependable. Okay, here we go. I started with light and motion lights and tray setup. This is their double tray with double arms. Now the original arms are only about this long. So I ordered another one of these and divided it between the two and made it this much longer. Okay. Now the next thing I did was modify the tray. The camera was supposed to go on this axis right here. I went out about an inch and a half in front of it to keep my knuckles from being in the picture. This lens on this new GoPro is so wide that you would end up with your knuckles in the picture. Now it gets the camera out here where the axis is out here, the lens is about right here, and you don't have to worry about that. So I just took a piece of aluminum, cut it, formed it, smoothed it, used the original tire, screwed it, screwed it in here, and then another screw to go into an already tapped hole here just to keep it from turning and make it extra tight. And then I turn around and made a lanyard that's extra long so that I can still get to the top of the lights to turn them on without having to stretch. And as the first thing I do is put this thing on my arm and cinch it up tight. Okay. Now when you buy the, the lights to go with the light in motion, they used to come with the adapter. This is the adapter right here. The lights no longer come with that. And uh, so you have to buy that extra. Be aware. Be aware you have to buy this extra. They may or may not tell you. Okay, then I ran a string all the way through to tie both ends together up here so that if this would happen to separate, it wouldn't lose the, uh, wouldn't lose the light that goes with it because you don't want to lose these lights. So that's the uh, light and motion tray, and now we're going to talk about the Sola light from light and motion. Okay, this is the Sola 2100 lumen spot and flood, and this will run two full dives. Yesterday I did two dives with with it on full blast. And I, you know, the battery is getting low, but I still had plenty of light at the end. It has three settings, uh, high, medium, and low. And if it was on low, it would probably run several hours. Okay. It's amazing I can get that out of a small battery. This particular light has a magnetic switch on it. There's no, act, no thing that goes through it to leak. You charge it by these two connections in the back. They don't go through any there. They just plug in a friction fit. You charge it and they tell you never to take it apart so you don't have to service it. Just wash it off in clean water when you get done diving. Okay? Now I want to show you the... I chose the GoPro 3 Plus because of the new lens. It's got a better lens, a wider view, and less fisheye, and it also has better low light capabilities. And I think the blues are bluer in it. So I started with that. You've got to get the very best card you can get in it. Uh, this is a 32, 32 gig card. But I'm not talking about the gigs, I'm talking about this is a Ultra Plus. This is the best card you can get in and it takes it because this does really high definition video. In fact if I was going to do it again I'd get the 64 instead of the 32 because a couple of dives I can I can fill this card half full. 
Um, it, it uses a lot of card, it really does. Okay, so now I don't like to take this apart on the boat, so I went ahead and got the extra battery pack right here. Okay, it fits on like this, and that will double your battery time. When you do that, when you used to be when you got this extra battery, all you got was the battery, a plastic case to store it in, and an, a piece, the, a new back for your camera to widen it out so that it would fit in the, the housing. Okay. Now what you get is the battery, the case, and a whole new housing for the camera. What happened was when they made the the 3 Plus, they put it in a form-fitting case that doesn't fit any of the accessories. So for a limited time, when you get the extra battery, you also get a free case and three different backs to go on it. I would do that quick because my guess is they're going to start selling the 3 Plus in this case and offering the little one as an option. And I really don't know that I'll probably use that little one. Uh, I just like to have more stuff. And this will run two full dives, probably four dives on a, on a charge. It really does well. Now, last but not least, you need a red filter if you're going to be diving in the ocean. Okay, this is a a keep forgetting this I'll put the link on it this is a special red filter I put a ring on it here and a stainless fishing leader another ring drilled a hole in this uh, small carabiner and I'll show you how this works because when you jump in the water you have to pull this off the camera and shake the bubbles out of it it has to have clear water oh. inside of it. you got to have some if you don't want to drop this. Okay. Now, let's put it all together and see what it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. Got to have a hit of my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Mmm, so good. Okay, Uncle Deke back here with them to the modern marvels of fantastic editing. We're all back together now, and I've got to still have to have another drink of my Dunkin' Donuts. Ah, so good. Okay, here is a great underwater video setup. Now, Trust me, I have spent a lot of time and a lot of research and a lot of money coming up with this deal. This weighs hardly anything in the water. Super easy to get around. And will give you as good a pictures as you would ever want. Now maybe if you were a hardcore professional, it wouldn't be good enough for you. But I'll tell you what, I, the videos I'm putting out this trip you'll just have to see for yourself, are, are clearer to the camera than they are to me. We went on a sunken boat yesterday and it was very dark. It was raining, it was overcast, black clouds. It was almost like night. This showed it up like it was in broad daylight, okay? So really, really uh, think this is a cool deal. Now the solar light, has spot and flood and it's just controlled with this switch it's super easy to do and these are so bright you would not believe how bright these are 2100 lumens on full power which is is really bright but then they also penetrate the water at a great, great distance uh, some lights don't some lights fall short at, at three feet this one probably goes ten feet so, and you don't really want to be any farther than that away. Now you have all kinds of options on how to put it. You can put one up and one down like this. There's all kinds of ways to do it. 
And then here is the, the red felder. I've got it tied on with a stainless steel fishing leader under my carabiner that goes through my lanyard right here. And if this comes off, if it gets knocked off, it's just going to stay right there. So I believe, in my estimation, for the money, this is the best you can get. Now best comes with cost. And this is not cheap. It may be small, it may be lightweight, but it's not cheap. But if you want to save money in the long run and get the best the first time, then go with the new GoPro 3 Plus, this kind of red filter, and two of these lights. Set it up like I've set it up, and you will go on your vacation trip and come back with pictures of a lifetime. I put links to every place I bought things on the video and you can go check it out for yourself but as far as I'm concerned I've been doing underwater photography for 40 years and for me now this is the best lightest most high definition way that you can take underwater pictures the GoPro 3 Plus and the Sola lights from light and motion. Ooh, one more hit of Dunkin' Donuts. And another look at the palm trees. It's a Uncle Deke out. <laughs>